Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to show you a very interesting recipe which is called money bags. It's a simple recipe with just a few ingredients but very interesting. So I'm going to take you through my ingredients. This is 500 gram chicken mince which I rinsed and then I have four spring onions, a teaspoon of ginger garlic. I'm going to use a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. This spice includes some sesame seed, garlic, and many other ingredients to it. And thereafter, to taste, I'm going to use a generous grind of salt and pepper. And I've got half cup of melted margarine of which I'm going to smear onto my phyllo pastry. This pastry I'm going to use about eight sheet that makes about 16 money bags. Now I'm going to get started by chopping off the spring onions roughly. You don't have to chop this too fine because we're going to use the food processor for a quick spin. I'll add this to my chicken mince. And then my ginger garlic. and a teaspoon of Chinese five spice, a grind of black pepper, and to taste, a grind of salt. I pop my pastry back into the fridge. When I'm ready to use, then I will take it off the fridge. In the meantime, I gave this chicken a nice mix and I'm going to put it into the food processor for a quick grind. As you can see, this mustn't be too fine. So I'm going to put it back into my dish. Here I have my baking tray of which I use my spray and cook. With this mixture, I'm going to make little balls using a tablespoon. For that, I had to have my hands slightly wet. So in this pattern, I'm going to finish off making my ball using a tablespoon. Yeah, I managed to make 15 chicken balls. To this, I'm going to clean wrap it and pop it into the fridge for 30 minutes. This is ready to rest in the fridge for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes has passed and I'm going to work first with my pastry. 
The pastry is on a floured countertop. So I've got my eight sheets of pastry where I'm gonna cut it in quarters. Here's my pastry sheets that cut into quarters. I'm going to use a damp cloth to cover. And in the meantime, I preheated my oven to 175. And I have another baking tray that I sprayed with spray and cook. And now I'm ready to work with my sheets. Place one sheet using my melted margarine. I will brush in a good amount of the margarine. And to this, I'm gonna add a, another sheet on top. And onto these, I'm going to take one ball, put it into the center, and then brush my margarine in the edges. And then grab the two ends, and then the other two ends on the opposite side. And I'm gonna give this a squeeze to form a money bag. But if you want, you can put in a toothpick to hold this together. And I place it upon my greased baking tray. Now I'm going to continue in the same manner. My first batch of money bag is complete, so it's ready to be popped into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes till it's golden brown and the chicken is well done inside. As you can see, I secured four of the money bag with the toothpick. For the 15 to 20 minutes, I keep watch. I checked upon my money bag after 20 minutes. It wasn't quite brown enough, so I gave it another five minutes. And now I'm ready to take it off the oven. I will give this another five minutes just to cool down and then I'm ready to serve. Here's your chicken money bags served with a nice hot sauce as a dip. This can be served for a starter or a nice snack for a party or even Christmas time. I'll quickly cut up one and show you all how it's done inside. Nice and crispy. It will go very well with the dip. As you can see, it's done up very beautiful inside. 
I know Pranesh will enjoy this because he showed me a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching and enjoy.